you're in, in the dragon boat that carries 20 paddlers, a tiller, and a collar. It's a team. It's a team. You, you are in sync as much as you can be with the woman in front of you. So there is something really cool about that. It's a support group, but yet we don't sit there and talk about it all the time. And It's there if we want to talk to other survivors, but if we don't, we're active and using the body part that was affected most. And, but they've really become family, and they come down and paddle every night. They are a joy to be around. Cancer's a funny thing. I was shocked, Mary was shocked. Mostly that, that we both got it. Yeah. I'm like, no way I have it. I'm super healthy. I feel nothing. Um, but most people in the medical field, they were not shocked that their that, that My her identical twin, twin sister had it. Getting it. So I was diagnosed in, I think it was the end of June of 2010. And I found it. I felt the lump while I was taking a shower. Was told it was cancerous and I was shocked. By the time my surgeon called me, it was much bigger than they had thought. So they wanted to get me in right away to do a mastectomy, so which I chose to do, and then did radiation, and then um, went through chemo. Somebody suggested, Meg, you should really get checked. And I go, hmm, I guess I should. Like, it never crossed my mind, huh, we're identical twins, I should get checked. Mostly because I was super healthy, and I had no lumps. Like... There was, there was just nothing in me that thought I had cancer. But sure enough, I got checked, and um, yeah, they found something. So I had two lumpectomies, and then I had a mastectomy. And Mary was on her right side, and mine was my left. I had a negative reaction to the chemotherapy, and my colon started to die. And I had to be rushed to the emergency room. And a week later, I wake up in ICU with part of my colon missing. It really came as a surprise that we had to do this for two, almost two and a half to three years dealing with this. We've seen my mom beat four but, bouts of cancer. My brother beat kidney cancer, stage four kidney cancer. So I think for us, we just, yes, you get cancer, but you beat it. So we did have hope. There will be women who get diagnosed today, tomorrow. There's definitely hope. I mean, we are living proof of hope. And reach out for help. If you need help, um, reach out for it. <laughs>